walk down to the river and jump on your raft. Progress against the current is slow as the river narrows and the water runs faster. If you still wish to journey by raft, turn to 228. If you'd rather walk over land, turn to 376. I feel like we're going to test our luck if we go on raft. Yeah, or would it be a skill though? I feel it'll be a test of something. Yeah. Maybe he lives on like a Louisiana river hut type thing. Oh, that'd be fun. We'll Want to raft. Yeah. <laughs> it's a squid in chat. I mean, I always love those uh, theme park log flumes, so... <laughs> yeah, maybe it'll be a fun ride. Should we go for the raft then? Mm -hmm. There are several large rocks jutting out of the water which you have to steer around. It's hard work and you grow tired. You decide to pull into the bank for a while to rest. Under the shade of some trees you lie down and fall asleep. When you wake up you see that you're covered with huge mosquito bites. Test your luck. <laughs> you have malaria. <laughs> oh no. You yeah. did it! Yeah! Just! <laughs> Just, but we did it! Do we still lose a luck then? I think so. I'll have a check. God. Yep. Oh, okay. Maybe the luck potion would have been good. <laughs> <laughs> That's if we didn't have the, the stamina one, yeah. it would be a lot worse off. Definitely. We might not have had any tasty snacks left. <laughs> Although the itching is almost unbearable, there are no telltale signs of fever. You jump back up on your raft and head up river once again. Yeah, that seems like that would have been bad. Yeah, definitely. Oh. For no apparent reason, the water becomes very turbulent. A whirlpool forms in front of the raft, and you have to cling on to stop yourself from being flung off. Suddenly, a great wall of water rises out of the whirlpool, forming itself into a vague humanoid shape. You're about to be engulfed by a water elemental. If you possess a pouch of unlimited contents, turn to 181. I take it back. I take it back. Yep. <laughs> oh... They're, they're yeah, got a this water element where we can throw at someone. Yeah. <laughs> How do you take it out the back? We haven't tested that yet. <laughs> <laughs> Just got the shout of Pokemon in chat. Weirdo, I choose you. <laughs> It's a slim chance, but you decide to try and capture the no. water elemental in your magical pouch. You open it as wide no. as possible and wait for the water elemental to come crashing down on top of you. Test your luck. Oh no. But we had the bat. But we had the thing. <laughs> oh. It's okay. I'm seeing snake eyes. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh well. Oh, uh, I mean it was four sets of snake eyes. Oh. Your plan does not work. The force of the water crashing down on you is too strong and the pouch is knocked out of your hand and swept away. The raft breaks up and above the roar of the water you hear the gurgling laughter of the water elemental. You gasp for air as you're forced under the pounding water. You summon all your strength and try to swim to the bank. Roll we didn't two have dice. enough badges. No, you're too low, too low a gym trainer level. If the total is the same or less than your skill, turn to 150. And if the total is higher than your skill score, turn to th 234. 
Alright. That was a jack dice. <laughs> yeah. Reroll. Reroll. Oh. You struggle against the raging torrent but are unable to escape from the whirlpool made by the water elemental. You become weaker and weaker until you can swim no longer. You black out and are engulfed by the water elemental to share its watery world forever. The end. Oh. I mean, we were screwed from the beginning yeah. with that luck score. <laughs> so we, we've died to spears. Oh. Died to water elemental. Yep. <laughs> Two overwhelming odds. Mm -hmm. Both times with luck. Yep. Luck is not our friend. Yeah. But our last bookmark involves a dice roll. What? Uh huh. So, shall we go back and hope that we get the same dice? Yes. Or maybe the other ones are better. Maybe. Maybe it'll be like lose two stamina and lose zero stamina. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to page 121 through this. Okay, let's roll the dice. It's a two again! Right, so we've done this before. We took a snack. Should we take a snack again? Um, yeah, that's what we did. Flick our way through here. And this time, do we want to go overland? E? What does chat think? Do we want to try the raft again? Chat thinks uh, that we should pull out New Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Fallout New Vegas, what would we do here? Um, well, the first thing we'd do is we'd go north and then die immediately and then have to reload. <laughs> I did that too. Everyone did that. <laughs> it's like, why would I go hundreds of miles out my way when it's right there through this <laughs> seemingly in this canyon? <laughs> so you've got two votes for raft and one vote for overland. We know what's in the water. Yeah. It's watery death. It's watery death. You know death. what? We were very unlucky to roll above our skill. That's true. We could try and Pokemon again. I just think that having that water elemental would be pretty awesome. It would. Even if it is unlikely. But what if we get malaria? Oh, malaria. Oh, we were so lucky not to get malaria. Yeah. Overland, yeah. Yeah. As much as I want a water type Pokemon. I don't want malaria. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you get malaria, you just play Far Cry 2. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look at what's on the land. Yeah. You steer the raft over to the right hand bank and jump off. 
The terrain all around is tree-covered hillside with plenty of rocks and bushes to make walking quite arduous. You look around and decide to set off towards the volcano in the northwest, as it might be an ideal place for the shaman to hide. After trudging your way through the undergrowth, you suddenly notice a strange looking bush. It has wide leaves with crimson tips and fruit like giant raspberries hanging from its branches. If you wish to eat some of the fruit, turn to 100, and if you'd rather keep on walking, turn to 399. Okay, okay. So, the sensible person in me says, no, don't eat the, the weird fruit with the giant leaves. <laughs> <laughs> However, <laughs> it could be tasty. Has eating stuff, has eating stuff let us down before? Once. With the clumsy Once. potion. Right. I reckon the fruit's good, but we'll get in a fight. I think so. Should we try it? Mm -hmm. Everyone in chat's on, on eat, eat the thing. I mean, this is a Venus adventurer trap. <laughs> <laughs> the fruit is juicy and tastes delicious. You gain one stamina point. Feeling refreshed, you set off again, still wiping the sticky juice from around your mouth. Test your luck. Me. It was great. No downside. Yeah! No... Damn. <laughs> on the side of the volcano, you see a flash of light, which could be sunlight reflected on a mirror, or polished blade. Could it be the shaman, or one of the Lizard King's patrols? You intend to find out and hurry on. Turned to Are we completely oblivious to whatever we just avoided? Yeah, <laughs> we don't get to know. It's just like a vine reaching out behind us. <laughs> you notice a bulging sack hanging from the branch of a tree on the end of a piece of rope. If you wish to cut the sack down, turn to 282. And if you'd rather keep on walking, turn to 27. Well, yeah, of course we want the sack. Yeah, S snack sack could be snack. Yes. I think chat's in agreement. Well, cat, chat yep. seems a bit concerned, but it's fine. Sack has been sack. Sack has been sack. Mm -hmm. Attack the stack. Sack. Yeah. You open the sack carefully in case it contains a poisonous snake, but you're surprised and pleased to find inside uh, some food honeycomb, wheat cakes, and fruit. If you wish to eat the food, turn to 116. If you'd rather save it for later, set off and set off again, turn to 282. Well, I, don't I think, think maybe we're... we should save it. Yeah, we're not that hungry. Right. We were at full. Yeah. And as much as I love sticking stuff in our mouth. <laughs> we can always eat it later. And it might come in handy later. Exactly. What if home is like an ingredient in the shaman's spell? <laughs> yeah. You bundle up the sack of food again and stow it away in your pack. After you've done this, you continue once more on your journey. Turn to 27. As the day wears on, the sun gradually sinks into the western horizon. It sits like a big red balloon on the sea next to the volcano before falling out of sight. The sunset, shades of pink and purple radiate across the sky, and soon the air is filled with the noisy sound of thousands of insects. You decide to camp down for the night between two bushes, hoping to remain hidden from any nocturnal predator. Test your luck. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. <sighs> all right. <sighs> Hopefully, it's not that bad. Oh well. Three hundred 